Hi, welcome to Dao Chow Si Hao. I'm Dao. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make chicken satay, one of the most popular Thai street food dishes. So we're going to start with the marinade and then sauces. And then once I'm done that, I'm going to go outside and grill because today is such a nice day. It's windy and it's cool. And we don't get many days like this in Thailand. So I'm going to take advantage of it. There are four parts. The first one is the marinade and the peanut sauce, the chicken and Thai relish. So we're going to start with the marinade. We're going to make the marinade first. What we need is one teaspoon of um, chopped galangal. Galangal is similar to ginger, but uh, it's, it actually smells and um, tastes stronger. So put it in there. And you need two tablespoons of chopped uh, lemongrass. Just put it in the, my traditional Thai grinder. And here's crook and sack. And then beat it up. <laughs> Make sure it's nice. Pretty much every uh, kitchen in Thailand has one of these. Mm. Smell aroma. Okay, now we need half a teaspoon of white pepper. That's good. Next, we need one teaspoon of salt. Put one teaspoon of salt in there. And oh, two teaspoons of uh, ground coriander uh, seed. Next, we need two teaspoons of sugar. One and two. And next, one teaspoon of turmeric. Not just smell nice, but the color looks good too. Now, the dry part's done. We need to put half a cup of coconut milk in there. Half a cup of coconut milk. Okay. Close it up. Oops. <laughs> now, make sure that you mix it up nicely. Mm. It looks good. Okay, now just pour it in your bowl. Like that. And put 500 grams of chicken in there. And um, I already cut it into small pieces, about one by three inch. Just put it in there. Okay, mix it up. Now, after you've done this, just cover it up and put in your fridge 
at least 30 minutes, but I like to put it overnight because I want to make sure that my chicken absorbs uh, all the flavor. Next, we're gonna make peanut sauce, my favorite. What we'll need is a cup of coconut milk. You just pour it in your saucepan, okay? Set the heat to medium. Mine is 120 Celsius and let it heat up. I'll put a list of uh, the ingredients for uh, the marinade, the peanut sauce, and the ajad in the description. Hmm. Now it's ready. Now put half a cup of ground and cooked peanuts in there. You can use your favorite nuts, for example, cashew nuts or walnuts, up to you. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. And next, put two tablespoons of red curry paste in. Two tablespoons. That's one. And one more. Now stir it until the paste melts. Okay. Now we're gonna put one more cup of coconut milk in there. and three tablespoons of sugar. One, two, and three. And next, three tablespoons of tamarind paste. Now, we're going to put a little bit of salt in there. And mix together. Okay, we stir until we make sure that everything mixed together well and you can feel the thickness here and that's when we know it's enough and i'm gonna put this aside let it cool down and we're gonna make ajat next okay what we'll need for ajat um, thai relish is half a cup of vinegar and half a cup of water ajat taste um, is the clear sauce tastes uh, a bit sour and sweet it helps bring out the flavor of the chicken. That's why we serve aja with uh, chicken satay. Okay, and half a cup of water. The brand that I'm using, the brand of the vinegar that I'm using is really sour, so uh, that's why I add some water in to just, you know, make it easier to eat. Now set your heat uh, to medium, 120 Celsius. Okay, let it heat up a bit. Now we're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar in. And let the sugar melt and one teaspoon of salt now 
and that's it for our dart. So I'm gonna let it melt and it heat up and then I'm gonna put it aside, let it cool down and make sure that it cool down because um, after that we're gonna chop some cucumber and chili in it and I'm gonna do that um, when I'm ready to eat because I want the crunchiness of cucumber and chili. And next, after we're done all this, we're gonna go outside and grill our chicken. Now my chicken is ready and next I'm gonna put my chicken in on the sticks and my sauces are done and here my cooking pot, traditional cooking pots looks good, the coal is nice and here make sure that before you put your chicken on the sticks you soak the sticks in the water 10 to 15 minutes to protect them from burning while you grill and I'm going to show you just one okay take one out and grab a piece of chicken and you just put it on like that okay and one more you want to soak in there if it's too thin you just woven it Put it up. Mmm. That's good. Like that. Okay, just leave it there. So as you can see here, my adat. I chopped um, some cucumber and chili in it. That will bring the flavor from the chicken. Now it's ready, so I'm going to try it. Thank you. Oh, it smells nice. Okay. So just, I'm just going to dip it in the sauce. good. I nail it. You need to try this. This is so good. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this video. I'm gonna go and enjoy my Saturday and I hope you like this video and I hope you try this. This, this is really good. And this has been Dao Chou Xu Hao. I'm Dao and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.